Are you actually jealous of Rachel? Yes, it's very obvious. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, <laughs> a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. We have to go eat breakfast with the security guard. This is gonna be fun. Everybody's gonna love everybody. Do I get to choose what chair I sit at? Nope. Just sit. Look at the plant. I guess nobody waters the plant here. <laughs> I'm glad that's creamy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Literally. Good. You can clean. <laughs> eat them. I'm just making her eat all the things I want to eat but can't because I'm lazy. I could actually make pancakes. I should make pancakes sometime. Eat the rest of your pancakes, girl. Now that's what I call pancakes. Then eat them. Why can't you eat them? What am I supposed to be doing now if I can't eat my pancakes? I can't get up. Oh, she's bringing something over to me. Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Yes, deer shirts. It's all I have in my wardrobe. Shirts with deer on I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. That I have now. Oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... Hmm. Hmm. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, but nobody I want says you to morbid have that this. way. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Ugh, the blue's coming out of your hair, lady. David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I don't have the password for that computer. There was a password on it last time I checked. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Yeah, like he's just gonna leave his password lying around. Nothing to see here. Corned beef. Aw, that's sweet. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Is 
check a few other things first. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. So many passwords, so little time. I could try the license number for the password. Can you look at things I tell you to, please? Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Which is a good thing. Magic 8-Ball says no. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the <laughs> laptop. Take it back. I take it back. <laughs> Doubt it's this. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally stop. Why am I walking so weirdly? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? How to deal with PTSD, maybe? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. There's a lot you don't know about this dude. He's not just an asshole, I think. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. That's sweet that he kept that. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Many possibilities. The computer's freaking out. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Nothing in it. Yeah. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 2.35 p.m. in Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of the campus security, Mr. Turing, trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. The officer was called into question. Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials, her bag was found to contain various legal pharmaceuticals. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. We heard Kate and Dana talking about supplies before taking party drugs. 
watched Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate sees her basketball with her students. Drug 